Hi everybody, welcome to today's episode. So I've done a video on the requirements to teach English in China and sometimes people still get confused with those as well. So I've decided to do a video on reasons why you can't teach English in China. Of course there are exceptions to some of these. So you've heard of cases where people are teaching English in China and they're not from the seven approved countries, for example. Or you've heard of people who are teaching English in China and they're not native English speakers that can happen but it is not a norm and it's not legal so let's just get right into the other reasons right so if you're not from these seven countries it's not going to be easy for you to get into china for teaching esl the countries are UK, the UK, Ireland, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. So these are the countries that are approved by the government, which means that it's easier for you to get your Z visa, which is the working visa this side, if you're from these countries and you want to teach ESL this side. If you're not from these countries, for whatever reason, maybe you this side you're studying and sometimes you just apply for jobs, teaching jobs, and they, they give you a job. Or even if you are in your country, they can give you a job. But most cases, agents are going to look for people from these countries. So if you're not from these countries, you probably cannot teach English in China, especially if you want to come and apply for a visa and leave this side. You also have to be a native speaker, which t is tied to the country that you are from. But I've noticed that sometimes, for example, a person from Russia, if they are white, schools don't mind. But if you're black and you're from other African countries, then sometimes they don't take you. So your skin color does count. I don't know how that works, but I've, I've heard of a lot of cases of people who are teaching English who can barely speak English, but because of their skin color, they do teach and are able to get visas this side. If you have a criminal record, you cannot teach English in China. You, under no circumstances are you going to be able to get your Z visa or even just get approved to come and work this side. So if you have a criminal record, no matter what you stole, no matter what happened, no matter, even if it was a mistake or whatever, you cannot teach English this side with a criminal record you need to do a background check before you are allowed in here to teach so that's why you cannot if you are living with hiv or any other disease like tb you're not living with tb because it can be treated but if you have tb or if you have hepatitis for example you cannot teach english this side unless you've treated if it's something that can be treated then sure you're gonna wait for that period but if it's something like hiv that that cannot be treated yet then you unfortunately cannot teach english this side you do two medical checkups one in your country one in china and you have to pass the medical checkups so and also the st i've heard i heard my friends telling me that they work in kindergarten and they told me that in kindergartens they get t tested for stis and stds every year so if you have those you might want to get an sti or std treated before you try to go for a medical checkup to get approved to enter china unfortunate way hiv is concerned i know and I know it sucks, but it's just how things are this side. If you hear banging noise, my neighbor's apartment is getting fixed. So yeah, welcome to China. You cannot teach English in China if you do not have a degree. You may have a diploma, you may have any other qualification, but if it's not equivalent to a degree, you can't teach English in China. You cannot. You could in the past, but things have changed. You cannot, simply cannot. You, you have to complete, to have completed your degree first also before you are able to apply for jobs. And I'm saying this because sometimes people ask me, hey, so I'm studying and I'm almost done with my teaching degree, can I apply? No, you can't. You have to finish with your degree and then you have to get your TEFL if your degree is not education related before you are able to qualify for jobs. There are cases where you don't need a TEFL certificate, like I did not need one, but in most cases you do need one. 
if you are registered with the teachers council in your country and you have a teaching certificate along with your degree i don't think you need a, T a tefl certificate but if you don't have that you just have a degree in any other field then you most likely need a tefl certificate but the most important ingredient here is you need your degree you have to have a degree in any field it doesn't matter but it needs to be a degree if it's not a degree then no you cannot you need to be between the ages 18 to 60 if you are a man 18 to 55 if you are a woman I'm not sure if people get degrees at 18 but th those are the ages that have been stipulated I, i'm guessing you just need to be an adult yeah over 55 as a female and over 60 as a man you cannot but anything below that you can schools are taking teachers around those ages so these things are a problem because when it comes to then applying for your z visa they want to know that you're from this country they want to know you have a degree they want to know all these things are because the government has stipulated them not necessarily anything against anyone it's just how things are here and we all have to do what they want when in rome act like you're in rome so if you still have more questions about the requirements and you're still not sure and you are confused about why i'm saying this it's because i feel like the borders are going up oh actually the borders are open it's just that it's not easy to get this side but you guys can come in at this point it's just that it's expensive it's a complicated process but definitely i feel like the borders are going to open soon maybe next year i do feel like it's time to get your your stuff together get your documents authenticated if you're from sa get your background check done because that takes forever don't wait until borders open are open properly or there's return flights or things return to normal rather before you start getting your documents you know authenticated or i don't know if authentication expires but i would check about that i would do my criminal record to make sure that i'm ready other than that if you are you quite if you don't see yourself in these things that prohibit you from coming this side then good luck and start applying if you unfortunately see yourself in one of these things or more maybe you can't maybe you can do it online i'm not sure about the requirements the online requirements but i know that in person you'd have to have these things checked out and all of them not one of them not three you have to be a person who's able to get a z visa thank you guys for sticking around if you still have more questions please ask down below love you guys thank you so much bye